we are going to build another WordPress site with a few requirements. You can use any theme. One of the page is called form and there's a Google form and a Google map in the page. And there's a news page where in the news page we are going to put a slider. You don't have to install them because it's already installed. So the step to begin a new WordPress site is you have to get the WordPress original installer. Usually it's still in your download folder. In my case, I can easily find it because It was recently downloaded, so it should be listed somewhere in your recent download. Yeah. If you can't find it, uh, first search in uh, download folder. Just type in the search. Okay, there are WordPress and WordPress zip. The one that I need is WordPress zip. Okay, so if you can't find with your eyes, use the search function, and then we double click the WordPress.zip you'll get this WordPress folder. So the installer should be in your download folder. If you don't have the installer, then you have to get it from wordpress.org. So we get this WordPress folder, which is inside WordPress 6.41 zip. Okay, this subfolder. You copy the folder and put it in your Zen HTDoc subfolder. Okay, which is accessible if you want a shortcut is here under Explorer if you click Explorer you can easily locate where is your HD doc from there okay then you paste it here <laughs> Let's build the Google form first. Yeah, while waiting, we go to our normal Gmail, not MMU Gmail. Okay, other other Gmail outside normal Gmail. Search for Google form, and if you look here, there are many templates. If you click template gallery, there are a few more. Okay, so I think we'll take contact information for example if you don't like it you can customize the design so let's try to change a few things and it must be non MMU Gmail yeah? not not MMU account your gender for example let's say we want to take the data about the gender of the Applicant. Okay, we have male, we have another one, female, and some website they put uh, option undisclosed. Okay, so male, female, or some people prefer uh, undisclosed. Okay, then uh, you can rearrange the order of the question. Usually, gender is after name, right? So, we can drag gender, so that name first. Gender, and then... Uh, okay, then you can ask, for example, uh, what else you want to ask. Uh, if it's everything okay, you can hit the preview button. So, your form will look like this name, gender and so on and to embed or put it in your WordPress you click the send button send button and then click this uh, triangular bracket icon and the code here is the one that we need for our WordPress Maybe you can resize the form size, 800 for a wider form. 
Okay, so I will copy the code. And if you have finished installing your WordPress, great. Okay, you should use your new WordPress. In my case, I'm still waiting for the extraction, <laughs> which is uh, quite slow. Maybe I should stop and begin a new one. Okay, so if you want to put it in your WordPress website, same technique. You go to any page. Let's say I'm using my backup uh, site. You go to page, add the new page. The name of the page as in the instruction is form. If you want to have a different name, fine, but let's make it simple, easier for me to check. Okay, in the form page, you must have Google Form and Google Map. All right, two items. Okay, the name of the page is form. Uh, add a block. You click HTML. Custom HTML. And if you paste the code, preview, you should get the Google Form appear within your WordPress. Okay, publish. Another item that you must have in the form page is any map that comes from Google Map. Okay, so let's build a Google Map. Okay, let's say I want to share the MMU map, map to MMU. So what I'll do is browse to MMU, Cyberjaya, and then go to the left side, share or embed the map. Yeah? Share or embed the map. And the code is under embed a map. Copy the HTML, and you go back to your WordPress, same procedure. Uh, plus and then HTML and then paste the code in the HTML box preview and then update okay so we have fulfilled the requirement where the form page must have these two items Okay, so if you view with the page, uh, form must have uh, Google Form and uh, Google Map. You can reach, set the alignment uh, by adjusting using a proper layout editor like Elementor. Okay, another requirement is you must have a slider under the page called News. Yeah? So another page that you must have is called news. If you go to MMU website, there's a lot of uh, moving image across the first page. Uh, that is what we call a slider. Yeah? So this moving image, left, right, up, down, and it's a very wide image, we call it a slider. Okay, the title of the page is news and the content is you must, you must have a slider here. So I publish first. Okay, let's open another tab, duplicate this, and we are going to add a slider plug-in. Okay, go to plug-in, add a new one, and you should be looking for 
slider ya slider alright there are many slider choose the popular one and of course we just use the free version I'll be using Okay, previous class I use smart slider. Now I try this one. Slider gallery carousel by Meta Slider. Okay, I try Meta Slider. Okay, so what you do is, oh, I already installed this before. So I install the smart slider. Install now. And then activate, and then usually there will be a shortcut on the left. Uh, you'll be looking at the smart slider. Okay, smart slider, all right. And smart slider, of course, we have we have to add some photo yeah go to dashboard different slider probably different way on how you can configure it okay new project all right uh, there are two uh, create a new project or start with the template i choose start with the template and then there's a few sample here full width slider master class image slider so I'll import the uh, full width post slider. Uh, skip the subscription. So we'll download the sample slider. And you can edit the content of the slider. Uh, so the downloaded slider is now appear here. Okay, we can Customize some of the settings. All right, uh, what do you want to con uh, change? You can change in the setting. Okay, if everything is okay for you, uh, then save the changes. Okay, then we are going to put our slider, go back to dashboard, dashboard of the slider, smart slider dashboard. Yeah? Go to dashboard. Okay, so I got this full width slider. I still can edit it and add more photo into the slide. Okay, next, uh, what we can do, yeah? Now we are going to insert the slider into the new page. If you look at the publish, Publish section, it says that it have a short code or you can use by inserting the content by clicking the plus symbol. All right, if, if you don't have the shortcut to add it directly, you can use the short code. So let's copy the short code just in case it doesn't have the short code. Uh, it doesn't have the shortcut to add it in news. So here in news page, I click, click the plus and look for smart slider. Okay, there's no smart slider. How about uh, slider? Okay, I got meta slider, but I don't see smart slider. Uh, or I need to refresh this to get. Maybe there's a smart slider, but it doesn't appear. So I refresh my news page under the edit mode. 
and see whether I can get the smart slider appearing somewhere here. Smart. Okay, smart slider af appear after I click refresh. Okay, so we don't have to use the short code because it appears in the one of the tool that you can insert. Select slider. Okay, I got two tutorial and full width. I click full width, insert. Okay, uh, here it doesn't look like it's full width. So if you want a uh, full stretch from left to right, you have to use a proper layout editor. Okay, update and then preview the page, view page. Okay, so here there's a gap here, white left, uh, left and right, there's a white gap. Actually, we can go from H to H if you use a proper layout editor. So that's how you add a slider. Change the photo with your custom photo. Okay, another one is you must get a WhatsApp button. When you click the WhatsApp button, okay, you can, the visitor can say, send a WhatsApp to you. So you can search for create WhatsApp link. Okay, there's a lot of tool that help you to create a WhatsApp link. You can choose any of those tool. Okay, this one I leave it up to you how and uh, you can choose any method that you like. Okay, so once you get the link, you find a WhatsApp icon, WhatsApp logo, insert into your page. Okay, uh, put a WhatsApp logo and then link the logo to uh, using the hyperlink created by this tool. So most of these tool will generate a link for you. That link should be the hyperlink for the WhatsApp logo. Okay, this one. I leave it to you, yeah?